grade 6 students. This is teacher Christine Joy. Here two pictures. What have you observed in picture A? What have you observed in picture B? What can you say about the picture A? What can you say about the picture B? That's right. On picture A, it shows daytime. On picture B, it shows nighttime. What do you think is the reason why we have day and night? That's right. Because of the Earth's movement. Our goals for today's lessons are Number 1. Identify the two movements of Earth. Number 2. Differentiate the Earth's rotation and its revolution. Number 3. To describe the effects of Earth's rotation and revolution. To achieve these goals, we will discuss further the Earth's movement by watching a short video. Guess what, Matt? My father has gone to Australia on a work trip. Australia? That's great, Matt! Yes, but yesterday I wanted to call him to tell him about my new bike, and I couldn't. My mom said that it was too late to call him at that time. She also said, Daddy's sleeping, because it's nighttime in Australia now. I told her that that was impossible. How could it be nighttime there while it was daytime here? So she told me that when it's daytime here, in Australia it's nighttime and full of stars. It's easy! Australia is in Oceania, and we are on the other side of the world. When you thought that your dad would be working because it was the afternoon here, in fact, he was at night time. Now I see why my dad was sleeping when I wanted to phone him. After watching the video, did the boy succeed in calling his father? That's right, he didn't succeed in calling his father. Why do you think that the boy didn't succeed in calling his father? Very good, because it was already night time in his dad's place. Is there a difference in time interval between a boy and his father? Very good, there is a time interval because it was already daytime in the boy place and it was already nighttime in his dad's place. Based from the video we watched, what do you like to find out? Now that we know that the earth is moving, we will understand further what are the movements that causes the earth to move and how it affects us through watching a video presentation? The earth move? Yes, our planet the earth moves and its movement has a great influence over us. What does rotation mean? Rotation is one of the movements of the earth. It's when the earth spins on itself. This movement causes a succession of days and nights. The Earth completes its rotation motion in a whole day. Now, let's discuss your observation. What have you observed? That's right, the Earth rotates or spins on its own axis that causes day and night. What causes day and night? Very good, because of rotation of Earth. So what is rotation? It is to rotate or spin around on its own axis. Axis is an imaginary line from North Pole to South Pole. How many hours does the Earth need to complete one rotation on its own axis? It takes 24 hours or equivalent to one day for the Earth to complete one rotation. Now that you are done watching the first video, I have here another video that is related to rotation. What about revolution? What's it? Revolution is the movement of the Earth around the Sun in its orbit. It takes the Earth a whole year to complete this movement. While the Earth revolves around the Sun, it changes its tilt. So, during some months, the Northern Hemisphere receives more energy from the Sun than the Southern. Then, during the other months, the effect is reversed. This variation in the climate results in the different seasons of the year, such as summer and autumn, and winter and spring. Very good, kids. The four seasons are different from each other. The differences depend on whether they are more or less exposed to the heat of the sun. Oh, that's why it's hotter in summer. Now, let's discuss your observation. What is revolution? Revolution is the rotation of the Earth around the sun. What happens as the Earth moves around the sun? We experience different seasons in a year. How many days does the Earth need to complete one rotation around the sun? It takes 365 days or equivalent to one year for the Earth to complete one rotation around the Sun. The Earth is where we live and give us food and shelter. So based on our activity, can you tell me what are the differences between the Earth's rotation and revolution? Very good. Why do you think we experience day and night? 
what are the seasons we are experiencing in the Philippines. That's right, in the Philippines, we only experience two seasons, the wet season and the dry season. Why do we experience different seasons? Correct, we experience different seasons due to the revolving of the earth around the sun. Now that we're already done in our lesson, I have here a short problem situation and try to answer the question that is given. One morning, Christine called her friend living in the America, but her friend didn't answer the phone. She asked her mother why her friend does not pick up the phone. Christine's mother said that because they have different time interval. Now, why do you think Christine and her friend have a different time interval? Did you learn something on our today's lesson? Amazing! Now, we will have a short quiz. Choose the correct letter on each item. We experience day and night through rotation of the Earth and also experiencing different seasons because of the revolution of the Earth around the Sun. In the Philippines, we experience wet and dry season. When it is rainy season, many places, especially in the Visayas region, are affected by the typhoons that causes the rising of sea level that resulting in washing away the plantation of rice and also homes of the people that cause some loss in infrastructure. When it is hot season or dry season, the consumption of electricity is very high because we always use our electric fan, aircon, and even refrigerator. So affects the plantation of the rice because the soil will dry and the amount of water to supply is not enough. We are already done in our lesson. I hope you have learned something. Again, this is Science Amazing signing off.